The next law that I'll talk about very quickly is the law of excellence. This one is a very serious one. This is what separates men from boys in the world of value and so on and so forth. Excellence. This is very important. Most believers are poor and mediocre because they are not excellent. There are brands that when I mention, what is the difference between some construction brand that you know and you respect and an ordinary mason who is willing to build your house? If you have the money to, even if it's your brother that is the architect and the mason, you will most likely not invite him. Why? You would rather invite some construction company that has some reputation. What are you inviting? You are inviting their brand, a testimony of consistency, integrity, and excellence. Please look up. Everybody buys excellence, not just things. Excellence. Excellence. Most church people are not excellent. I've had the honor of traveling a bit. And I've been to many places and many facilities. Believers are not excellent people. You can almost know a facility that was built by a believer. Because you will see it laced with carelessness. You are using a bathroom. The water is coming back to you as you are bathing. Believers for you. Say amen. You look at a sink and open the, the part, you open cold water and it's hot water that is coming on you because the, the labelings were wrong. They put the blue one for, for cold water I mean, and interchange them. So you just burn your, just because you want to wash your hands and somebody does not care. Are we together? Believers are not excellent. Give believers contract and most of, I know things are changing, but I need to challenge. Most believers get angry. Oh, why church people are not doing this? I can do this thing that people are doing. And you give them something and watch the way they disappoint you. And then they say, are you not a Christian? You should not be angry. You should, this the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, and, and so on and so forth. Please listen to what I'm telling you and take it seriously. You enter a restaurant that is owned by some unbeliever somewhere. There is excellence. There is courtesy. All that greeting, you will pay for it. But at least they will charge you and you will pay for it. There's excellence, but not Christians. You step in and the person to greet you is there yawning, folding his arm, gossiping. And while you come, hey, okay, you can see that I'm coming. They will now go and on the generator. That will take time. You are already sweating and angry. And the person who is coming to serve you is frowning as if this face is familiar. So what? Say excellence. Please shout it. Say excellence. There are, there are many people in Abuja here. Some of you are my dear people listening to me. It's not that you cannot, you, you have something to do, but you are not excellent. You cannot dress kings. Someone cannot give you something to fix. You spoil it again and bring it back. Excellence is the determination to surpass ordinary standards. Everybody who has the money to give you is looking for a standard. If you can meet that standard, you will enter your financial Sabbath. Believe me, there are people in Nigeria who only sew for kings. Fashion people. And it's not because they were that way. They were so exceptional. All it takes is for one great person. And that one is God's assignment to bring the great people. Oh, this is what you make? Wow, this is exceptional. Let me tell all my friends that have found somebody. And in one moment, they will not even ask you, how much do you sow? They will just give you five million and say, sow whatever you can sow. Let's test you. That is testing, five million. You, who, if they had asked you, you would have said it's 40,000 per one. Now they gave you, they, because they saw your excellence and they believed. They just jump-started your mindset. And from that level, you will not do any sowing less than one million again because excellence brought you here. Are we together now? Believers, please listen. Excellence. Tomorrow, go back to whatever it is you are doing. Clean the place. Make it healthy. Make it exceptional. You are a business person. Don't, let me give you something. 
a, a, a big idea. If God gives you an opportunity to do something you don't have capacity to do, don't preserve the name and let someone else take the profit. You did not lose. Did you hear what I said? Preserve the name, the track record, and give somebody who will do an excellent job. A good name is better than profit. If they give you a contract of 100 million and honestly it's just favor, prophecy came and favor, instead of damaging that thing, you lose the profit and you lose your name. Bring someone who is competent. Even if the person is greedy and wants to take everything, you preserve the name. The name will recycle the opportunity again. Hallelujah. I made up my mind as a man of God. Now listen, let me tell you this. I do ministry with the heart of a shepherd, but I have the brain of a businessman. A businessman not because I'm all out for money, no. Everywhere I go to minister, I see what I'm serving the body of Christ as the gospel, but I also see it as a product. Everything I say is going to, be a, is going to affect and influence the life of millions of people. And so I do my homework I make sure that if I ever stand on this stage or any stage, I'm communicating as much as I can. Intelligent, life-applicable principles. That is the reason why I listen to my own messages. Every message. I listen to be blessed by what God has said through me. But I also listen to learn and see areas of improvement. Ah, these statistics that I brought is now outdated. Correct it. Next time you're on stage, you correct it. Are we together? Yes, there are times that I preach and people listen to me and with, with every sense of love, sometimes they send as, ah, apostle, you spell this this way or you pronounce this this way, this is how it is. Can you improve yourself? I don't say, who, who is this stupid person? Mm -mm. I'm passionate about excellence and I'm not ashamed of my limitations. I learn, improve myself and I come back to correct myself a more superior version. Say excellence. Receive the grace to hate mediocrity. Yeah. Are we together? There are many believers who say I can cook. Cook what? For who? Because be mindful of the person whose money you want to collect. You want his money but does the person like you? Does he want your service? Are we together now? Do you know there are people just this December alone they will make in excess of 10 million packaging hampers. I'm not exaggerating. In excess of 10 million. There are hampers that are almost 1 million, 2 million, depending on what you put there. And someone can order 30 just to use it and honor those who have blessed them. And it will go to one person. Whereas someone else is praying and say, God, when will you come for me? And God is saying, okay, let's be honest. If I give you this thing now, you will break two people's relationship because of lack of excellence. Put something that is meant for women in a package they told you is for a man because there's no excellence. Hello, Koinonia. Believers for you. Let us not make it look like it is a cause for us to love Jesus. Loving Jesus does not take away your brain. Please go and sit down. Whatever you cannot do well, Challenge yourself and then surround yourself with sincere people who can love you but tell you the truth. Don't surround yourself with mediocres that will always tell you this is exceptional. If you come here and you sing, my precious people, if you didn't do well, they can pat you and say, well done, eh? but ah, the way you did this and that. Don't just say it was excellent. No, if it was not excellent, it was not excellent. It's as simple as that. You made pounded yam that is looking like Gary. The soup, people do not know whether it's draw soup or it's not draw because everything there, you are confusing the people. Go back and be excellent. Yes, it is the will of God to lift you, but not in that state. Which king will you serve with that kind of thing? And it's the kings that have the money to give you. I hope you are not just laughing. Yes. It is my desire to see that I serve kings. Men of God, let me challenge you with all due respect. There are certain people who will never come and sit down under your ministry until you rise to a certain level of excellence. Excellence in delivery. 
Nobody will carry his wife and children of noble repute and come and sit down. Watch the people that came for Jesus' program because they knew that they would hear something that is life applicable, intelligently presented with a point of application. Many believers lack excellence, but we want everything to work out well. You buy a rubber plate from a believer, it's already bent before it gets home. Because it was so poorly done in a bid to compromise on standards. No. I'm challenging believers. Money flows every day, but it flows from those needing excellence to those who serve excellence. It will jump those who are not interested, those who do not respect excellence. Hallelujah. How do you know you are excellent? Whenever you are called, when kings arrive. Every time kings arrive and you are called, is because you are excellent. Yes, sir. Some great man is coming and you are the one who is contacted. Please come. Excellence. Apostle, I do interior decoration. People marry every day. Now, it used to be every week. Now it's even every day. People marry on Monday, Tuesday because they don't want trouble. They marry on Wednesday when there's nobody. They marry in their homes. Not even, they just look for somewhere and they bless them. But there are people who do interiors who have not done more than two this year. I'm not insulting you. There are demonic attacks. Yes, I know. But there are people who are just not excellent. It's as simple as that. Let me tell you this. If you want to be excellent, allow people higher than you to do a critique of what you are doing. If you mark your script by yourself, you will give yourself A. You are the teacher and you are the student. It doesn't work that way. God bless you for listening to the sermon. If you're here to give your life to Christ, say this prayer. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins and surrender my life. Wash me clean. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that He died on the cross for my sins and rose on the third day for my victory. I believe that in my heart and make confession with my mouth that Jesus is my Savior and Lord. God bless you. Congratulations. You are now free.